Caroline and Dejnikaz, and welcome to an overview of our week 27 learning plan and a plethora of announcements. I will begin this episode by reminding you of our sagchipschool.net website. This page will give you information, plus it links to my teacher page. And if you look at the live feed on the left, you can see the announcements that we need. Um, it's always good for you to check in on these. Sometimes these announcements will be made directly from teachers. Sometimes you'll find them right here, including adaptions of our uh, learning plan, which you'll hear about in just a few minutes. You can also see a calendar of events. You'll notice that March 17th is a shorter day. Um, look, the timing of TEAB meetings, the end of the marking period, which we'll talk about in a moment, spring break, which you definitely want to pay attention to. Your students will get a break and then which day we return. It's a really good resource. Uh, you can find your links to download the app, um, different clubs. You can check your breakfast and lunch menus. So if your student forgot to bring it home, you can check what's there. Our uh, stream page in the Google Classroom. This is available to students at all times, and I consistently update this stream page so that it is not super long and you can find the important information. I want to look at Monday schedule. We have a new schedule, as you are aware. Uh, we are returning groups A and B together and extending their day beginning on Monday, March 15th. This means our school day will formally begin at 8 a.m. and students will be dismissed at three. And that will be for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Wednesday, we will run a, rem a remote day. There is going to be some information coming to you about those days. <clears throat> we will run a live stream in the morning and then there's some opportunities for other events that will be coming in the afternoons. And we'll be talking to you about that soon. Our day begins with the live stream at 745. And that's when I show CNN 10 as the students are coming in to the classroom and eating breakfast. Reading is eight o'clock. We have a half hour of reading instruction to begin our day, 830. SEMA or on other days, it'll be a Anishinaabe Bimadzawin course. Also this week for Anishinaabe Bimadzawin, it's a good idea to send boots or some older shoes as we are still wrapping up the uh, sugar bush and we have been going out there. After a five minute break, we have math each morning at around 9.05 a.m. And writing follows that. Then we take a 10 minute mask and movement break. Uh, with all the students back masked up, we do remember that it's important to give them a moment to take off their mask, breathe in, kind of get a stretch in before we continue on with our morning. Social studies and science will, in math review, will follow the next block of time. Math review and math enrichment will be in that 1125 block. And that's an opportunity for students to review skills that we've already practiced or to look at pieces of things that are coming up in their future. As we look to make sure that they are more than ready to walk into a sixth grade classroom in just a few short months. Recess will be at 1140 with lunch following that at noon. And we'll transition into that between 1220 and 1230, beginning with a read aloud. And I'll quite often be Miss Spickerman reading to them. And we had started a book not too long ago that I'm looking forward to us continuing. Now on Monday, we'll continue off what we call web content, our weekly expected basics. 
that keep, kind of kept the name that was there for the independent work time the, from the fully remote period or even the early hybrid period. And that's an opportunity each day to complete their assignments. The expectation is that students should have minimal to no homework each day. We are giving them time during the day. If there are cases where they have expected homework, there will be a quick email sent to parents saying, yes, they do have homework today. Part of this is to help prime them for responsibility of getting things started and getting things done. But part of this is also to understand that we are still living in a pandemic and things are not normal. And it's good to have some time to be kids after school. I don't want them going home at three o'clock and then doing homework until five o'clock. It's just not what I want for them at this time. We will also be used doing tech things. Um, the one on Monday is the 21 things for students, but we have some other topics like code.org, typing.com. A lot of the kids like NitroType is another piece. Um, usually on Wednesdays, it'll be a tech choice, but we'll give them some opportunities. Uh, 21 things for students, at least recently was used in our local public schools. So it's a good resource for students to kind of get themselves ready for their middle school. Map skills is based off of our NWEA skills. Um, they should log in. Normally they were logging in expected for 15 minutes a day, but now we'll provide that time. Citizenship will fall a couple times a week. That's where we look at the United States citizenship test to help bolster their civic knowledge. ST Math is a relatively new resource that allows for students to practice their math skills at their own pace in what looks like a game-like environment. We will be making sure that they have time to read for 20 minutes and there will be time provided during the day for that. Uh, we will have our small group math and reading, words their way, and even handwriting instruction. And there may be more that falls in there on certain days to enrich their experience. During this time, students may be working in small groups, but in even our online students or students who may not have felt well enough to come to class that day or had an appointment and they just want to jump on for a little bit, I'd be more than I will help guide you through your web content. At 145, there'll be independent reading, which really will take that reading for 20 minutes piece mostly away, but still not a bad idea to read for 20 minutes at home if you want to. We'll be reading from an actual book, and those books could be brought from home if, you, if a student likes one, or we do have books in the classroom, from EPIC or from Reading A to Z. Physical education on Monday and Thursdays. Uh, at this time, it is still located at the school, and when possible, we'll be outside. If a student has a pair of shoes they don't like getting scuffed up, they may want to bring a second pair of shoes with them on Monday and Thursday. That'll bring us close to the wrap up on Mondays and Thursdays and dismissals at three o'clock. On full days, office hours are from 310 to 330 where I will leave the Zoom, Zoom open if parents need to desire to come in and ask any quick questions or if you want to call me or text, that's a great time to do it. Um, I am available via email and text at other times, but this is the one that this is the time frame that I'm exclusively going to be paying attention to that. And you know that I will answer immediately. Sometimes when you email or call, there may be a delay depending on uh, what events are going on in life. Um, if a student's not available to view a subject live, there are pre recorded YouTube videos. Those are going to continue. Um, I will continue the links in the Google Classroom and help us kind of keep used to the technology piece because it's a good skill to have. 
There's also a link on the stream page to how to email me quickly for your student. They're encouraged to do such anytime they have a question and I will answer as soon as possible. However, if they email me at 2 a.m., I probably won't hear it until like 4.30. There is information on here about if you're interested in Mount Pleasant Middle School, some videos that can be watched. Um, these videos and links were emailed out uh, last week on this video stream. If you have questions or you need them resent to me, just reply to the email in which this video link was sent to you, and I would be more than happy to resend them to you. Ne the most recent newsletter, there'll be a new newsletter coming out this week. ST Math, uh, there will be a, the invitation code is changed. You know, it doesn't stay for long. I'd be more than happy to give your student the most recent invitation code. Most of them have signed up here, and we will get the remaining few. There are still links to our at home breakfast and lunch on school days um, that continues on. Now the tech letter I want to come to for just a moment. And this is consistent continues to be posted and if you'd like me to send you a new copy. I can send one very quickly. Uh, one of the things I want to point out is we are down to the last two weeks of the quarter. And that means that all assignments will be soon due for the third marking period. Um, parent teacher conferences, I will give you more information on those will happen after spring break. W one of the things is once you get into the Google classroom, you can see that I was just on the stream. And you can see there's pancake over here. And what is a pancake? It's just the three lines. Good dip compared to a waffle, which was three dots, three dots, and three dots. Um, when you go to it, if you click on in to do, you can see what assignments your student still has to work on. Now, keep in mind, some of these assignments may have been completed using a paper copy and will not register there. So students may at some points be asked to by me to clean that up and they probably should students should probably get in the habit of cleaning it up each day with the things that they've turned in by clicking the done and that's okay with me due to the fact that they physically have done the paper i'm not asking assignments to be done twice now it has happened where students will click done on things they haven't done you may hear from me at that point is I check them in in a different way. So then clicking done doesn't register with me as far as being done. So the to do there's assigned missing and done. Uh, assigned means it may be due a little bit later. Like if you look at here, the, the, the next week's assignments were already posted. They weren't due at that moment. And there really shouldn't be for the high, while well, the in-person students really shouldn't have much in the way of work to do. Uh, missing is a good category to check. Um, and if you have questions when you do that, please let me know. I can review really fast. I'm going to be clicking some more things also to our Padlet, which has links to um, academic material. It has technology, it has some Anishinaabe content. Uh, and if it's a good spot for students to access things to do on in practice. Or if they somehow forgot a link, you could bounce to there. Um, one last thing to look at particularly, well, two last things. On writing city, once they log in and they know their login and password, and if they're struggling with that or forget it somehow, let me know. Um, the home page will tell you what assignments they have to do. We are now in unit five, um, unit four and new should be complete. And if you click on that home page and you see that there's an assignment there, um, that's where they should start. Um, so we want all of unit four done. And unit five, we've begun this week. So there'll be a few more things for them to have completed there. But you can see at, at home where they're standing on that. And writing is one of those that some students aren't huge fans of completing online. 
And then looking down, words their way is our spelling. And this is a required piece. Once they log in using their Google account, and there's links within our Google Classroom, it's under words their way. And there's a red arrow after they get it and it says not started, in progress, or completed. If you click on that arrow from their assignment, it'll show this heading. And if they have a bunch that are in progress or not started, um, that is some things that they should definitely be working on. Um, I will be I will be providing the date of which of when I will start grading over spring break, uh, as we all definitely want to have some time for everyone to unwind, including our students. All right, let's look at the actual document. I know this is a, a longer video. Um, and I appreciate your patience in listening, but this is the best way to get information out to you quickly and in a timely manner. I do want to point out, and, and before I forget, that this is the week of time change. So don't forget um, tomorrow night to move your clocks forward an hour. Somebody cheated me out of sleep. Yes, I'm still unhappy. All right, so looking at the live stream schedule, we have... It is now extended out 7.45 to 3. I will have a, a screen during um, recess. It will just say, it will be a shared screen saying that um, class is on recess. Um, if you're an at-home student, you're more than happy, I'm more than happy to answer any questions during that. Time. Reading, we're looking at the Story Titanium Medal of the Future at, with a day of Scholastic on Wednesday. Remember, Wednesday has a shorter schedule. It is fully online for all students, so there will be no students in the building. Writing, we're continuing on with Unit 5. As I mentioned, Unit 4 must be complete. And the sooner the better. Math, we're continuing on Chapter 9 with our adding and subtracting of fractions with a little quick quiz on Friday. Science, we're beginning a new unit. So you can see the anchor phenomena uh, will be looked at on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, or thir sorry, Thursday. On Friday, we're gonna do mystery dog student choice. And on Wednesday, we have a makeup day and it's an opportunity for students to work on their 21 things for students, visual learning quest or they could spend some time on the PHET simulations. Social studies, we're looking at Valley Forge and then the war in the South. Words their way, uh, students can space it out as they see fit. Um, some students will do it in two days, some will do it in five. Technology, the plan here, we're gonna look one day at the visual learning. And I know that this one was posted last week. Uh, we're going to get some more time with it this week. On Tuesday, they should be practicing their typing. On Thursday, code.org. And on Friday, I've put 21 things for students, although this may eventually become a Monday and Thursday item. Uh, if they're, they can, that gives us some more time to work on Quest 4 or to explore some of the other quests. Um, our weekly expected basics, as you've seen in the agenda, include those topics. Um, and there will be some slight adjustments to this document um, over the next couple of weeks as we really kind of dive into our new schedule um, and making it kind of match up with it. Um, again, pointing out the email address. If you have any questions, um, I will be available via email. That'll be the preferred way to reach me this weekend. Um, once we get back into Monday, you can call me in the classroom. I will be there. Um, it's easiest to text or email um, as if, if I'm with students, I sometimes can't get to the phone right away. Um, but I look forward to seeing all of our kiddos or most of our kiddos from eight to three. Uh, it's been a long time coming and I'm excited for it. So. 
at this point, I, I hope you all have a great weekend. So, Minogijigad, Minwab, Bamapi.